in the middleweight division at UFC 298. You got Robert Whittaker taking on Paulo Costa, and which is obviously a title eliminator fight. Neither guy can really afford to lose this fight. Robert Whittaker, 25 and 7, 2 to 1 favorite. Paulo Costa, the Brazilian, in case you forgot. This guy is 14 and 2. I'm surprised by that record. I didn't realize he was 14 and 2. Wow. Costa 6'1, one, one inch taller than Whitaker. He's 32. Whitaker's 33. Okay. Whitaker's got a two inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right handed. Paulo Costa is more active. Six and a half significant strikes per minute to 4.5 for Whitaker. So if you say, hey, this fight goes three rounds, you're looking at a 30 significant strike advantage for Paulo Costa. That's crazy. Takedown game, really non-existent for both fighters. Whitaker will get one like every four rounds. Costa will get one every six. So it's likely that there's no takedowns in this fight. But if there are, Whitaker has an 82% takedown defense. Costa 79. So even more likely not to have uh, any takedowns in this fight. Now, Robert Whitaker has lost two of the last three to Adesanya and Duplessis. Former, former champ and current champ. So might as well wipe the slate clean there. He did beat Marvin Vittori by decision and beat Kelvin Gasolum by decision. Now, Paulo Costa was supposed to fight Hamza Chamaya, but he ended up not doing it, right? He had to pull out. But he did beat Luke Rockhold in his last fight by decision, and his only two losses in his career after starting 13-0 was to Marvin Vittori, decision, and KO by Adesanya. So we really haven't seen Paulo Costa in a while. And I think that's why he's the underdog. Because when you look at the numbers, as I usually do, and I usually go with the numbers unless I have a gut instinct, that's why this prediction is very tough. But you look at the numbers, Paulo Costa lands two more significant strikes per minute. 30 over the course of 15 minutes. How is Robert Whitaker going to deal with that? Robert Whitaker, to me, is going to have to get a finish here. The first round is going to tell us everything. And Robert Whitaker has not performed well. He's gotten KO'd, you know, but against the champion and the former champ. Robert Whitaker once ruled this division. It's a whole different division now with Hamza Chamaev in the mix and uh, Bo Nickel on the rise and all these guys. So Robert Whitaker cannot, if he loses his fight, the career uh, is in jeopardy in terms of ever fighting for a title again. I can tell you that right now. So his back is against the wall. But on the other hand, Paul Lacosa is getting tired of hearing the noise. He pulled out of the Hamza fight. He lost two fights in a row to Vittori and Adesanya. That wasn't a good look. This guy's had a lot of time to train. And I think he's going to come in serious in this fight. And he's one inch taller. He's got, well, he's given up two inches in reach, but he's more active. Man, I'll tell you what, forget the odds here. I'm going to have to go with Paulo Costa as much as I like Robert Whitaker. I'm going to have to go with Paulo Costa to outstrike Whitaker, avoid the KO, and win this thing by decision. Look for round three to be ridiculous. As both guys know, they can't lose, and it's likely 1-1 going into round three. I think Paulo Costa pulls it out. He's got more of an upside right now. We know what Whitaker can do. Paulo Costa has a chip on his shoulder, and I think that chip is going to carry him to a victory. He's going to move to 15-2 and two with the decision win. In my opinion, he's going to lead by 20 to 30 significant strikes to move to 15-2 and two here, middleweight division, UFC 298.